Well, this next story may just be the answer to many women's prayers, especially those who have fought breast cancer. It's a new breast reconstruction without invasive surgery. Very natural looking, I don't, you know, I'm very happy with them. You feel feminine again. This is not your typical breast enhancement story. Fine, they're lovely. They're great to have at my age, which I'm 69. And <laughs> I just feel like, you know, that's the size I should be for my age. In addition to bigger breasts, patients get a flatter tummy and slimmer thighs. We ended up together creating this really nice, Breast. <laughs> Pamela and Kathleen are the first in Australia to have this revolutionary stem cell plastic surgery. Patients see it as a win-win procedure. Liposuction is used to remove fat from the tummy, thighs or bottom. Stem cells are extracted from that fat and then injected into the breasts to increase their size. No cuts means no scars. Any woman's a candidate for it, whether they you know, want a, a natural augmentation or they have had um, breast surgery from cancer or any other, I guess, disfigurement. They've now got that option of having their own fat moved from one spot and put into to another. Gary Wills is the man who has brought the treatment to Australia. The process is, is relatively less invasive than typical breast surgery. It's mainly needles and cannulas. Um, so a cannula is used to extract the fat and then a needle is used to reintroduce the fat into the breast. This 44-year-old American mother of two had breast implants removed. Three years ago she had her own stem cell enhanced fat placed in each breast. She's pictured before and six months after augmentation. You can increase two cup size quite easily in one sitting. Dr David Chin claims to be the only stem cell therapy plastic surgeon in Australia. What makes his treatment different to past unsuccessful fat transfer surgery are those stem cells. It promotes the growth of the blood vessels in the tissue once it's reintroduced to the patient. This 46-year-old US mother of two initially saw doctors for liposuction. Rather than discarding the fat, it was injected into the upper part of her breasts. She's shown on the right a year after having the procedure. Pamela was Dr Chin's first stem cell breast augmentation patient in August. She wanted to fix ruptured silicone implants. The silicone had um, crystallised. It, it, they looked like it looked like little bees. Tiny. It was, it was really quite scary when I when I saw it. So the implants were removed and replaced with fat from her tummy. I don't want to look like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I just want to be nice and comfortable. Normal. Horrific implant stories have turned many women off breast enlargements, but now stem cell therapy is being touted as a safer alternative. With the recent events, of, um, and there are a lot of patients who are so scared to have them removed, what do we do, put in our implants in? Um, so there's this option. Kathleen and Pamela are understandably camera shy about their results, but here are some before and afters of other unidentified patients. The fat grafting gives you a, a, a natural augmentation. They look like your own breast with your own tissue in it. Kathleen has beaten breast cancer after having a full mastectomy, but the thought of lengthy reconstructive surgery was too much. I didn't want any more surgeries. I didn't want any more cutting. I didn't want any more scars, you know. And so with this, I wasn't going to have that. Kathleen now has cleavage again, as well as a flatter tummy and slimmer thighs. This has helped me to go back to who I was before all that happened to me. The stem cell treatment isn't limited to just breast surgery. Or it could be your face, or it could be your chest, or it could be uh, a functional uh, part of the body where you need, we need muscles or we need blood vessels to grow. While it's new to Australia, stem cell surgery has been performed on more than 5,000 women in Europe and America over the past five years. Now it's been approved by the TGA to come to Australia. It's been worth every cent of it. Recovery time is similar to traditional breast implant surgery and the cost is also comparable. You know, I feel, feel great, like all over, health-wise and 
and I've got my tummy on. No fat tummy anymore. <laughs> And you can find more information on that story at our website.